Ryan Harris is a young girl who was enjoying her summer in Chicago by visiting her godmother in July of 1998. She was 11, around the same age that I was at that time. Crazy thing is that I'm here and she's not. Listen to Ryan's story. On July 27, 1998, Ryan was taking turns riding a bike with a friend. She rolled down a block that afternoon, never to be seen alive by her family again. The following day, Ryan's semi-nude body was found in a yard behind a building. Her skull had been fractured in several places. Scratches were on her back as if she'd been dragged. Her underwear were stuffed in her mouth and leaves were stuffed in her nostrils. Witnesses stated that they saw Ryan walking with a man wearing a cool cigarettes hat that day but it was later determined that he was not the perpetrator as he had an alibi that he was drinking with other men on the day in question. An anonymous tip led police to two children, a seven and eight year old boy. Someone shared that the boys were throwing rocks at Ryan days prior to her disappearance. They were also seen riding bikes with her on the last day that she was seen alive. The boys were unlawfully interrogated until police were able to coax a confession out of them, which led to them both being charged with murder at the tender ages of seven and eight. Both boys were taken into custody and shipped to Hartgrove Behavioral Hospital, which is a psychiatric hospital, where they stayed for a few days until special ankle monitors were created for them to be placed on house arrest. The case took a turn when charges were dropped against the boys about a month later when semen was detected on Ryan's clothes, which led to the conviction of this man, a 29-year-old sex offender who was already serving a 125-year sentence for sexually assaulting other girls. An Inglewood Park was renamed after Ryan, located on 67 and Low, near the place where she was playing on her last living day. The city promised to add a field house and restroom facility, but after $500,000 in donations were made towards the project, the empty promise still has not been fulfilled, and Ryan's mom continues to fight for the project to be completed.